Across the San Francisco Bay Area, animal cruelty is hidden in plain sight. In San Francisco, San Jose, and Oakland, animals are suffering daily at live markets. Animal Outlook investigators visited 18 live markets across the Bay Area and documented multiple cases that we deem animal cruelty violations. We've asked for enforcement of these laws to bring accountability for this widespread cruelty. Our investigators documented many shocking instances of the suffering of fish, turtles, amphibians, and other animals. At these markets, animals are kept in crowded tanks and cages. Fish attempt to swim in small tanks and are often surrounded by dead or dying animals. They're also taken from the water and left to suffer while on display to customers. Fish are bludgeoned before being dismembered, and if they're still moving after the initial hit, they're hit multiple times with clubs or the flat side of knives. The science is clear. Fish suffer, whether it's in massive industrial tanks, like in our previous investigation of Cook aquaculture, as long as it away, it's based. in the ocean, or in tanks in these suburban shops. Turtles, one of the most beloved animals on the planet, are being killed at these live markets while fully conscious by having their heads chopped off in front of customers and other animals. While on display, amphibians and reptiles spend their days in plastic tubs with little to no water, sometimes piled on top of each other. One turtle was seen stuck in a mesh bag for several hours. Once purchased, some animals are put into plastic bags while still alive, prolonging their suffering. Cruelty is standard in animal agriculture, whether it's behind closed doors in hidden rural locales controlled by massive corporations, or in small operations right under our noses. In the case of these live markets, it's happening as children walk past on their way to school and right by apartment buildings. Live markets put animals of different species in close proximity with each other and to humans, which can lead to the spread of zoonotic diseases. Survey after survey finds near unanimous opposition to animal cruelty. The desire to protect animals against cruelty is inherent in our humanity. And there are laws against it in every state, yet it is allowed to continue under the veil of live markets and other animal agriculture facilities. We showed our footage to local residents, and here's what they had to say. It's, I mean, it looks incredibly inhumane, um, almost medieval, where like I feel like we should have come a lot further than that by now. And it's depressing, honestly. It's uncomfortable to watch, and it's even more uncomfortable to know that it's happening like right around here, and not just in some like distant corner of the world. Well, I feel like that's really cruel. I mean, it's really torture for the animals if they're still alive and like just being tortured like that. More than anything, I'm just like kind of surprised that it still happens. I expected um, it to not be like that, I guess. There needs to be much stricter regulations. I think that laws need to start changing. You know, that is animal cruelty, right? It's the same thing that is if someone was to hit a cat or a dog, it's inhumane. We're better than that. You can help the billions of animals who are used and exploited for food by leaving them off your plate. Join us in demanding accountability for this widespread cruelty. Your support will help to continue to expose the cruelty animals experience in facilities ranging from live markets to large-scale animal agriculture farms. Share this video to help expose the truth.